Okay, so I want to tie this into my, you know, my BGP configuration to customer one. So I do that by going under router BGP 1000, and I'm going to do neighbor 130.0.0.1. That's my neighbor connection to customer one. I'm going to put in here prefix list, and then my prefix list name, which is two customer one. And then, how am I going to filter in or out? I'm going to filter these in incoming, because these are the, the prefixes that I'm learning from the customer one. Okay, so as they're coming into me, I'm going to filter them. Okay, and that's it. So if I do a show IP BGP, you can see that I have these two networks. Show prefix lists. Show IP prefix lists. Okay. And it looks like we're still learning this 13004 network. And let's see if we can do something here. Let's just do a quick clear on our neighbor, customer one. Now you can see the prefix list has taken place, taken effect. Uh, prefix lists, just like access lists, at the end of it there's an uh, implicit deny. So as you can see here, um, if I do a show IP prefix list, my prefix list to customer one, okay. Uh, in sequence ten, I'm permitting the 130.03 network with any subnet mask less than or equal to 32, which they match that criteria with by sending us this 130.03.0/24 network, okay. Um, at the end of this, there's an implicit deny, deny all. So what you're seeing is now the 130.04 network is being blocked. So prefix lists are very, um, you know, very strong. You can set them up to only um, permit certain networks, you know, from your customers or from whatever inside your network. However, you're filtering you can deny, uh, you know, deny traffic, deny networks. And you can see that we did that successfully. Uh, what I also want to do is go here and now let's go back into our prefix list. Sequence 20. What we're going to do is a permit on their four network. Well, what I want to show you here is how this works, how the greater than greater than or equal to or less than or equal to logic works. Uh, what I'm going to do is set up my prefix list to, to not match that criteria at first. So how I'm going to do this, I'm just going to do greater than or equal to let's say 25 then less than equal to 29. So what this statement is meaning is that it's going to match any sub any prefixes that are 25 uh, 
bits in length are in between 25 and 29 bits in length. Anything uh, that's outside of here is not going to match. So in, in theory, our slash 30 here is outside of this range. So it should not match once I apply this. Okay, so you can see here we successfully created our sequence 20 to permit the 130.0.4.0 network with the slash 24, which is, uh, you know, it's going to match 130.0.4, and then it also has to be uh, greater than or equal to 25 bits in length or less than or equal to 29. So in between 25 and 29 bits in length. So if I do a clear and then look at the PGP, I'm still only seeing the 130.0.3 network. And that's because the 130.0.4 network slash 30 doesn't fall in between this criteria, the 25 and 29, because it's slash 30. So let's go back in here. <coughs> Now is do a sequence. Let's do this. We'll do a, a no on our previous sequence 20, and then we're just going to go here and we're going to change it to 